various research around the world has proved that the climate change is for real and it has been seen in unprecedented climatic condition in the Himalaya and Himalaya being the youngest mountain chain in the world has been affected highly by the climatic change. In 2010, Ladakh was hit with a devastating flash flood, causing destruction in 62 villages and killing 300 people. In 2012, the high altitude region of Changtang received rare and extreme snowfall, killing around 20,000 animals. In 2014, the village of Gya was the victim of a glacial lake outburst flood, the water taking along with it houses and fields of the local farmers. With climate change impacts at its doorstep, today Ladakh has a choice to lead the way towards sustainable development or be a part of the problem. What we have on the hills and the mountains uh, in terms of the vegetation growing is not enough to meet the energy demands of the people. But what we have here in Ladakh is renewable energy. We have good sun in this area. We have hydro resources in this area. We have good wind speeds in this area. So this can be harnessed to provide energy for the people of Ladakh. Our vision and priority is to go for non-conventional energy sources. And this Lerada, which is an agency, has been doing a commendable job in the last several years to promote non-conventional energy. And in Ladakh, we want to really turn it into a model for the rest of the country and rest of the world uh, through green energy sources, you know. And then in a vast area like Ladakh, where you have uh, uh, villages located in very isolated remote areas solar energy is very ideal aur main hamesha manta hu ki kshetra aisa hai khas karke leh ladakh ka jahan par se prakash paryavaran aur paryatan ये ऐसी ताकतें हैं जो सिर्फ ले लदाख नहीं सिर्फ जम्मू कश्मीर नहीं भारत की भलाई के लिए भी इन ताकतों का अगर भली भांति संयोजन हो समागम हो और उसका विकास हो तो भारत की भलाई के लिए भी काम आ सकता है लदाख इज ओनली रिमोट विलेजेस इन प्रीटी मच ऑल इट्स villages that it has but yes there are some that are inaccessible to we do not have roads to several villages for example there's a village called dibling which is about uh, three to four days trek uh, from any nearest motorable road so we usually get these out on horseback or two yaks and mules usually we have to design um, for these areas, keeping in mind how much a horse can carry into uh, on its back or uh, how big of a load a ho one horse can take. So the size of your panels or the size of your batteries, these are also limited by the ponies. Il permet tout à ce coup de la Saxon. Tenez, ce coup de la Saxon va s'en attendre à pour comme ça, Tito. Tu qu'on va tout le à soi, souci n'a pas tout le menu. Dix petits boutons d'asponi, il y a mis qu'on s'en a contre ce qu'on s'en.
while renewable energy is taking care of meeting energy demands it is also helping to conserve the unique assemblage of wildlife in ladakh amongst them is the endangered snow leopard the pride of ladakh maybe in 30 years ago the the conflict was rising you know the the blue sheep was uh, coming to the villages and uh, you know uh, making a sort of um, crop damage also the snow leopards and other and uh, the animals comes to the village kill the livestock so might be in that time that people were taking uh, sort of revenge and then might be killed two thing about conservation is very very important conservation is nothing but the conflict reduction between human being wildlife and livestock because all of them depend on the same natural resources if we are able to reduce the conflict we can conserve we can experience the a fresh air and we are, we can experience the fresh snow and uh, we can experience the sp- uh, fresh radiant of uh, sun and uh, it is a uh, significant and it is really is a something something which we have to really appreciate so ladakh is really going to be very good example for the rest of the world large scale use of solar water heaters greenhouses and solar cookers has allowed development without adding to the adverse effects of climate change the projects are estimated to save 14 million liters of diesel annually through renewable energy power generation projects further 500000 liters of kerosene and 8000 tons of firewood is estimated to be saved annually by the end of the project uh actually now human population on this planet now already over uh, 7 billion now according some expert they say end of this century population will be 10 billions so the energy uh the renewable energy is something and clean energy is something very very essential for whole humanity i always is telling expressing now uh this is century old out of thinking we and they and we make something distinction we and they i think that concept now out of date it oneness of 7 billion human being is very very necessary this is not only question of moral but question of our own survival la ima sharena sharab shalari la tolon janil ima la shar sum sharena sharab shalari la tolon janil ima